Hi everyone, I'm Shirley Liao. In this session, I will introduce Microsoft Outlook 2007. You may need to send and receive email for work. Keep track of contacts, including office numbers, mobile numbers, and the email address. You also need to schedule meetings and appointments. Microsoft 2007 is the personal organizer portion of Office 2007. Outlook helps you keep all these things organized. Outlook 2007 does a great job of keeping you organized in today's fast-paced work environment. It reminds you of meetings, sends meeting updates, keeps all your email organized, and so on. The most popular use for Outlook are reading, writing, and organizing your email. When you start using Outlook, you need to set it up for email communication. It needs to know your email address and the email password so it can retrieve your email and display it for you. If you have an IT department, that has already set up Outlook for you. You can skip this session and move to composing email. But if you are starting Outlook for the first time, you need to tell it where your email is stored and how it is sent. You may need to know the following your name, your username of your email account, your email address, your email account password, your email account type, such as POP3 or IMAP, your incoming email server name, such as pop.microsoft.com, your outgoing mail server name, such as smtp.microsoft.com. Uh, first, uh, click Start button and uh, open Microsoft Outlook 2007. When you start to use Outlook, you have to set it up for email information. You can follow the Outlook 2007 Startup Wizard, which will guide you through the process of configuring Outlook to set up a new email account. First, in the Outlook Startup window, click Next button. Then. In the account configuration window, you can configure Outlook to connect to Internet email, Microsoft Exchange, or other email server. Select Yes item to configure an email account, then click Next button. In the Add New Email Service window, select Microsoft Exchange, POP3, IMAP or HTTP item to connect to an email account at your internet service provider or your organization's Microsoft Exchange server. Then click Next button.
in the auto account setup window. Enter your name. Then enter your email address. Enter your email password. Then retype password. Uh, click next button. In the online search for your server setting window, configuring email server setting may take several minutes. Establish network connect. Search for your email server settings and log on to server. If your setting cannot automatically log on to the server, select manually configure server settings. Then click next button. Choose email service. You can select internet email and then click next button. Internet email setting. Each of these settings are required. You have to input incoming mail server and outgoing mail server. Then type your name. Enter your password. Then Click Next button. Configuration. You have successfully entered all the information required to set up your account. To close the wizard, click Finish button. Basic Operation and Management Outlook 2007 has a navigation pane to provide access to your email, calendars, contact list, and tasks. Outlook 2007 has its own folder structure in the main personal folders and you can add your own folders. This is the folder list. This is navigation pane. This is general bar. You can set the functions buttons you want to display in the navigation pane. Handing email is the most best task you can perform in Outlook. You can reply to an existing email message, create a new message, and uh, even add attachment to the email before it is sent. When sent, the message goes to your outbox where, depending on your settings. It is sent at automatic intervals or when you click send a receive or press F9. Write and send an email. First click new button on the general toolbar. Click to button to add a receipt 
or enter an email address. Type the email subject and content. Then click send button to send your receipt and the email. If the message is stuck in the all box, please click send receive on the general toolbar. Prepare to receive your email. Press Send Receive button on the General Toolbar. Then click Inbox folder and look for your mail. When the pictures cannot be displayed in the content of the mail, click the right button of the mouse. Then select Download Pictures. Then the pictures will be shown in the mail. Address book to build and manage. Address book is where you maintain the information about people with whom you want to stay connected in Outlook 2007. You can manage one or more contact lists to keep track of key colleges, customers, vendors, or other individuals who are critical to your business or are important personally. Click Contacts in the left panel. Your contacts list opens. There are several current view. You can select different current view. This is address cards. Detailed address cards, phone list by category, by company, by location. Click phone list. The list of fields become visible. Last name, first name, company, files, business phone, business fax, home phone, mobile phone, and so on.
click the file name to sort ascending or descending. The up or down arrow lets you know how it's sort. You can right-click the fields to open a field chooser to add more fields to the phone list view. You can as add assistance phone, business address, home address, home fax, home number two. Click new. The field is added. Add contacts. You can make it easier to communicate with colleges, customers, and others by having Outlook 2007. Keep track of contact information. You can collect a set of contracts together and name them as a group to be able to send them all the same email, set up a meeting, create a task, and more. If you use a Microsoft Exchange server, Outlook 2007 will automatically locate contacts from within your organization. Click Tool on the General Toolbar. Click the Address Book. In the Address Book Context window, click File on the Toolbar. Then select New Entry to add context. In the new entry window, select new contact. Click OK button. Enter your contact name, job information, email address, phone numbers, contact address, notes, and so on. and click the picture button to upload the context photo. Click Save button to save and close the window. Then you can type several contacts.
Because of more and more contacts in your address book, you have to manage your contacts. Add new distribution list. In the address book, contacts window, click file on the toolbar. Select new entry. Select new distribution list. Then click OK button. In the new distribution list window, click add new button to add a new contact. In the Add New Member window, enter display name, email address, email type, and internet format. Then click OK button. Add members to the distribution list. In the new distribution list window, click Select Members button to add members. In the Select Members contacts window, select several members you want to add at the same time. Click Members button. Then click OK button. Remember to enter the name of distribution list. Then click Save and Close button. The new distribution group will be displayed in the address book. Double click distribution group you add to view more members information. Contacts. When you want to view your contacts, click contacts in the left navigation pane. Then you can see your contact information. In the middle of the navigation pane, you can adjust the way of view according to your needs. Add recipients from addressable context. Click to or CC button. In the Select Names context window, click the context from address book. Then the contact mail address and the name will be showed. Then click OK button. Click the plus of the distribution group. You can see several contact email information. Attach file to email message. Rather than just send plain text, 
You can also attach a file to your message. This file can be anything from a picture, a song, stored as an audio file, a program, a video file, or even another email message. When attaching files to messages, because many ISPs put a limit on the maximum size of an email message, such as 10 MB, also try to keep any file attachment small. Because if the recipient has a slow internet connection, downloading a large file attachment can take a really long time. If you want to send someone a picture, video, audio file, compressed file, or even an entire program, you need to attach that file to a message by following these steps. Select Insert Pen. Click the Attach File button. Select the file you want to mail. Click Insert button. Files attached will be shown in the mail. Then type the email content. Click Send button. When you receive an email with attachment files sent by others, click a file to open or save it. Adding signatures. If you want to add your contact information and the company name to the button of email messages you end, you can avoid needing to enter this information separately with every message by creating an email signature. You can use the email signature to apply a common repeated set of information at the bottom of every email. To use the signature, you create and save it one time, then apply it as needed. Create a new message and then click the signature button in the message tab.
After clicking the signature button, a menu appears. Click to select signatures. The signatures and the stationary window appears. In the signatures and stationary window, click the new button. Enter a name for the signature. For example, if you wish to have a work email signature and a personal signature, you would name this work. The name is for your use only and not visible to people to whom you send message. Enter the information you wish to have appear at the end of your messages. For example, if your name is Tony Chen, you might enter Tony Chen, All King Designs Company, phone number and email address, and uh, personal website. After entering the email signature information, under the Choose Default Signature section, indicate which messages, if any, should use the email signature. To have the signature applied to new message you create, select the signature name from the New Messages drop-down menu. To apply your signature to your email replies, and the messages you forward. Select the signature you create from the reply forward drawdown down menu.
If you only want to apply the signature manually, not automatically, choose none from the default signature drop-down menus. Click OK in the email message window. Choose the signature you just created from the signature drawdown menu at the top of the message window. If necessary, choose signatures from this menu again to edit or modify the signature. You can add your signature. If you set your signature to apply automatically to your message, create a new message to see the automatic signature. Creating email rules for span and uh, routing. You can create rules that determine how incoming and send email messages are processed by having individual messages sent to various folders, assigned to a category and more. You can immediately create a rule for a selected email based on the sender. Or you can use the rules wizard to create rules with specific parameters. Click Lures and Ether button. You can click New Rules button to create a immediate rule. For example, add a sound notification for specific received messages. Star rules wizard. Star from a template or from a blank rule. You can select Stay Organized, Stay Up to Date, Start from a Blank Rule. Step 1. Select a Template. 
Click Move Messages from someone to a folder. And uh, click Next. Which conditions do you want to check? Step 1. Select conditions. You can select from people or distribution list or others. Step 2. Add the dual description. Click an underlined value. Apply this dual after the message arrives from who. You can click this. Move it to the specific folder. Click Specific. Select Tony Folder. Then click OK. Click Next. What do you want to do with message? Step 1. Select Actions. You can select move it to the specific folder or others. Step 2. Add the rule description. Click an underlined value. Apply this rule after the message arrives from someone and on this machine only. Move it to the specific folder. Select Tony folder. Then click OK button. Click Next. Finish rule setup. Step 1. Specify a name for this rule. Step 2. Set up rule options. You can click Run this dual now on messages already in inbox and turn on this dual. Step 3. Review rule description. Click an underlying value to edit. Apply this rule after the message arrives from someone. And on this machine only, move it to the Tony folder. Then click Finish. You can see the rule 2 and the rule description. If you want to delete rule, you Select Rule 1 and click Delete button. Click Yes. If you want to change rules, click Change Rule button. Click Add Rule Settings. Then you can change the rule. Then click OK button. 
The lure is set up. Reply and forward an email. If you want to reply the email to the sender, you can click reply button. If you want to reply the mail to the sender and other recipients, you can click Reply to All. If you want to send the mail to other recipients, you can click forward button. View an email. You can use view function on the toolbar to read email messages easily and quickly. Select view function. Click navigation pane. Click current view pane. Select one item on the current view pane. You can mark email messages with different color to improve the reading convenience. Select Tools function. Then click Organize to enter ways to organize inbox window. Click using colors. Color messages based on the requirement you enter. Some email messages will be displayed in different colors. It is more convenient to read and organize these email messages. After the color setting, continue to make further management and search. Search the mail. Type your search test in the search box that above the mailbox. Then you can type sender, mail titles, or mail contents as the search text. Flagging and searching message. You can search email by attachments, senders, subject, and more.
You can use flag function to mark the important email. You can select different color flags to display the different level of the email importance. Besides, you can set categories for a selected mail using different color square. Enter the search criteria. Click the mail you want to flag. Click flag button to select the type. You can click recent searches to repeat former searches. You can click the button to return the inbox. You can click categorize to set categories for select email. You can click all categories under Categorize to change or create new categories. Add folder. You can create new folders to classify your email messages. Select file function. Click folder. Click new folder. In the create new folder, Enter folder name, select folder contents, select where to place the folder, then click OK button.
The new folder will be displayed in Mail Folders pane. Select the mail you want to move and pull into the new folder. Click the new folder. You can view the email you move. Search folders. Use the function of search folders. Click search folders in the navigation pane. It will make a copy of the mail that meet the specific conditions. Then you can grab the special mails faster. You can add new folders according to your needs except for default folders, categories, mail, large mail, and unread mail. The following will take Tony's mail as an example. Left click new search folder in the search folders. Select mail from specific people. Click Choose button to select specific people. Select Tony. Set the folders you want to search mail in. After setting, there will appear a new mailbox and you can see all the mail from Tony inside the mailbox. Right click and uh, select rename to rename the mailbox. All the settings are finished. Use the calendar. People will get busy and miss deadlines and appointments. To avoid this problem, let Outlook 2007 keep track of your schedule. That way, you will know what days and times you will be busy and when you will be free to do anything else. Before you can add an appointment to Outlook 2007, you need to decide which day that appointment will occur and what time it will start. You can also add details like how long it should last and where it takes place. But the important part is to define the day and the time. To do this, you need to look at the Outlook calendar. Outlook 2007 offers several ways to display its calendar. Day displays a single time 
divide into 24 hours. Week. Displace a single week. Divide into five or seven days. Months. Displace a single month. Divide into days. Outlook lets you define starting and ending times of an appointment in half-hour increments such as 1.30 or 11 o'clock. Whether you are using the day, week, or month calendar. Click Calendar on the left button of the function pane to enter calendar window. You can select different view approaches. Select View Function. Click Current View. Click one way you want to view. Add a appointment. Click new button to add an appointment. Enter the reminder time you want to remind yourself. Select the importance of the appointment. Type the subject of the appointment. Type the location of the appointment. Select start time and end time of the appointment or all day event. Type a brief description of your appointment. Then click Save and Close button. The appointment will be displayed in the calendar. When the reminder time is up, reminder window will automatically be showed on the screen. A 
appointment recurrence. Click the recurrence button on the appointment pane. Select start time and end time of the appointment. Click recurrence pattern daily, weekly, monthly, yearly. Enter range of recurrence, start time and end time. Click OK button to save the appointment recurrence. Recurrence requirement will be displayed in the appointment. When you start the Outlook, the right of the screen will display a recent schedule and the button will display that day's schedule. Click the date. You can see the schedules of that day. Schedule the work. Set the subject. Set the start date and due date. Set status. Set priority and the complete percent. Set reminder. Type the content about the task. Click the Save and Close button. Send the inviting of schedules or meetings to the contacts. Select File. Click New. Select Meeting Request. Choose the recipient and set the subject location. Fill in the schedule for the date and time. Type in a message about the meeting. Then click Send button.
recipient of the meeting request email can click reply and forward to it. The recipient can enter a reply message. After the recipient clicks send button, the response is received in your inbox. Add holidays to calendar. You can enter different country holidays to remind yourself. Select tools. Click options. In the option window, click preference label. Click Calendar Options button. Click Add Holidays button. Select the location holidays you would like input in your Outlook calendar. Click OK button. Then the holidays will be displayed on the calendar. Print the mail. Whether it is sent or receive a mail, you can print out for easy carrying and saving. Click the file, then select print. Select the printer. Set the print style. The style is divided into two different kinds, table style and memo style. Table style to print the mail title, the date of receipt, the mail size, and other information as table list. Memo style, the mail title and the contents will be printed out. Set the number of printed pages and the number of copies. Click OK button. If you worry about the result of printing, you can click preview to preview the printing. In the preview mode, you can view mail in large view. After confirming, click print on the toolbar to print it.
print the information of the context. Select the context that you want to print. Click the file and uh, select print. Select the printer. Set the print style. Set the range of printing. Set the number of printed pages and the number of copies. Click OK button. If you worry about the result of printing, you can click Preview button to preview the printing. In the preview mode, you can view mail in large view. After confirming, click print on the toolbar to print it. Test management. Most people are often busy. However, the big difference between busy, efficient people and overwhelmed people is that busy people simply know how to manage their tasks so they get things done. To help you manage your tasks, Outlook 2007 Let's you store your most important test and assign due dates and priorities. You can see what's most important for you to focus on. By spending more of your time on important tasks and less of your time on travel matters, you'll become more efficient Provide you will actually do the work you are supposed to be doing. Storing a task A goal usually has a deadline. When storing tasks in Outlook 2007, you need to define what it is that you want to do and set a day for when you want to complete it. To store a test in Outlook, follow these steps. Click the test button in the left pane of the Outlook window. Outlook displays the test view. Click the new test icon in the new group. Outlook displays a task window. If you just need to store a quick test, click in the type a new test test box in the middle pane. Type a brief description of your task and press enter.
Click in the subject test box and type a brief description of your task, such as meet with my good friend. You can click in the start date list box and click on a date to start your task. Then click in the due date list box and uh, click on a date when you want to complete that work. You don't have to add a start and end date, but it's a good idea to do so to help you measure your progress or lack of progress on your task. Click in the status list box and choose an option such as in progress or waiting on someone else. Click in the priority list box and choose an option such as low or higher. Click in the percent complete box and click the up down arrows to define what percentage you have complete of the task. Click in the big test box to describe more details about your task. Click the Save and Close icon. Outlook displays your task as shown in figure. If you double click on a task, you can open the task window so you can edit or add information to your choose task. Searching task. If you have a lot of tests, you may want to find a particular one. To find a particular task, you can search for it. That way, if you know you want to find a test involving birthday party, you could just search for birthday party and the Outlook will display that tag right away. To search for a task, 
follow these steps. Click the test button in the left pane of the Outlook window. Or press Ctrl 4. Outlook displays the test view. Click the Home tab and uh, click in the Search to Do List test box or press Ctrl E. The cursor appears in the Search to Do test box. Type as much data as you can about the task you want to find. Press Enter. Outlook displays all text that match your search criteria that you type in. Click the closed search icon that appears at the far right of the search to do this test box. Outlook displays all your text once more. You can use flag to mark the test importance. Select flag color. You can use current view to see the test list. Simple list, detail list, active test, next seven days, overdue test, by category, assignment, by person responsible, complete test, text timeline, server test, outlook data files, to-do list,